Hey, Mr. Sams. Yes, sir. Why are you standing in front of the periodic table because with like a... I'm going to be the amazing element pointer at her. Whoa! Have well, let's see how that works. Do you know the element song? Do I know the element song? I actually do know the element yeah, song. Yeah, all right. We're going to do the element song. I'm going to see if I can... Uh... How fast are you? I don't know. I've never done this. We'll see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're really good at this, Mr. Sams. There you You're good right now. Where's Holium? I know. Lead. Platinum. Polonium. Titanium. Okay, so you're not very good at that, Mr. Sam. Oh, it's back! No, it's not. It's gone. It's oh, gone. oh, well. All right, so I'm really bad at that. I'll sing it for you in class. How's that? Okay, I'm sounds like that. that. He's very good at it, actually. Okay. Okay, all right. Yeah, bye, guys. Mr. Sam's. Yeah. You are not very good at that. I know. It's, it's so fast. Well, yeah. But how can you do it in class? I, I don't know. I could sing it better than I could point to him. I just yeah. have never tried that before. So I'm like, oh, yeah, that one's over here. No. So it's kind of like an aerobic activity. Something You're like that. You're not very good at aerobics. No, I don't do a lot of that. I don't yeah. do a lot of that. You well, do. yeah. Maybe I should have been the jump around guy. Maybe. So well. we're studying the uh, periodic table. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, on the periodic table, it's called a periodic table. Right, because things occur... Oops. Periodically. Well, yeah. Why is it called? What do you mean by periodically? Uh, they, they, there's like recurring properties that show up. Yes, recurring. So everybody, what you should do is write down that there are recurring properties. You've got recurring properties. Yeah. I can't spell. Okay. Who's that so, old guy on the next slide? Who's the old guy? Yeah. Well, there's this old guy. You know, in uh, 18 and something. Something, something. I think 18. Sixty-seven. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, this guy named Dmitry Mendeleev. Hey, I could talk like him. You can try. You uh, yes. still have a mystery accent. I don't know. So my name is Dmitry Mendeleev. What yes. did I do? Uh, well, you came up with the idea of the periodic table. Yes, you see what I did, and I was periodic table man, is I said, <laughs> you know there was lithium, and there is sodium, and there is potassium, these elements, and I've discovered that they have similar properties. Yeah, I think you've slipped into uh, not Russian accent anymore. Oh, have I messed up? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I go talk in Russian. Uh, is that better? Uh, I don't know if better is the word I'd use, but Okay, so it's they have similar properties. Oh, uh, yes. And, and you see, if you put lithium in water, it blows up. Did you know that? I did. I bet you did, actually. And then the sodium, you put it in water, and it blows, blows up. up. You put potassium in water, it blows, blows up. up. Actually, bigger. Yeah, yeah. I once put potassium on, on other science teacher. Not a good thing to put potassium. <laughs> he screamed. Not good. Yeah. Okay, that's a story I tell class sometimes. <laughs> But what Mr. Mendeleev did is he discovered that they have similar chemical and physical properties. Mm -hmm. He put these elements in the same family, and uh, that's why it's called the periodic table. Right, and he started to organize them based on their similar properties, and he came up with... So here is my periodic table as a Dimitri man. And uh, it's not as clear as you probably could see, but basically he has put same elements in families because they have similar properties. Cool. See? Okay. All right. Okay. I'll resume. So... Why did I put them in similar families? Because they have similar properties. Similar, similar, I can't write. Properties, okay. What do you mean by properties? Um, just the way they behave. So the way they behave. Mm -hmm. Also things like they would have similar densities. Mm -hmm. Color, man, man, not necessarily color, but... Um, Sometimes color, yeah. yeah. Uh, charge. Charge. Yeah. Conductivity. Yeah, things like that. So we'll talk more and more about how those... Uh, how those families go together and what s similar properties we're referring to here yeah. in a little bit. Okay. So let's kind of talk about the different categories. If we look at the periodic table, it's kind of like a map. Yep. And so um, the first part of this is that we can talk about is that there's divided into metals yeah. and non-metals. Right. Now the key here you want to look for is the staircase. 
So the staircase is staircase, right here. Yeah. Now, if on your periodic table, everybody, if you don't have it out, would you pause the video, and I want you to get out your periodic table. And I want you to copy the same stair step that I have kind of highlighted If it's here. not there already. If it's not there already. Yeah. Now, if you're watching this on the internet land, you need to still do this. And the metals are the substances on the left side of the periodic table, and then the non-metals are the right. Now, there's one that's kind of weird. Yeah, the metalloids or the semi-metals are sometimes called. Those are the ones that sit on the on the staircase there. And there's one more, though, I was thinking about, actually. Mr. Oh, Sims. sorry. And that would, of course, be... Oh, hydrogen. Yeah, hydrogen, hydrogen is actually weird. a non-metal. He's kind of like the orphan child yeah. of the periodic table. He's over on the left, but he kind of belongs on the right, but yeah. he still belongs on the left. So let's uh, kind of talk about the differences between, um, and actually, so metals versus non-metals. And the non-metals, of course, you should write down are these. So let's do a short little video to kind of show um, the difference. Okay. Okay.